If you're watching this video, there's probably a chance you already know what is Dynamics 365 and field service within it. Field service is a complete management solution for all your field service needs. And so I could talk a million things about it in this video, but I want to specifically focus and start and show you guys how to generate a work order. Hey to all the Dynamics 365 users, I'm Reem from Sonius and I have a question for you. What is a work order and how does it work in Dynamics 365? I specifically wanted to talk about work orders because work order is the primary entity in field service. They are used to coordinate and schedule resources and activities in Dynamics 365. Think of them as the core of all the information needed in order to complete a service request. It could be some installation work, some repair work or just some preventative maintenance. A work order could be created in four different ways. It could be generated manually. It could be through an agreement, a case, or just a sales order. A work order goes through a typical life cycle. When we generate the work order, it has the status of open and unscheduled. The work order then gets booked and scheduled with the resource. The resource has to have that particular skills in order to complete that request. The resource then dispatches to the site and performs all the service tasks for that request. After the technician is finished with their work, she or he could send an approval request in order to close that work order. And as soon as the request gets approved, the customer can then can be invoiced or some inventory adjustments could be made. So this is a very typical life cycle in how a work order goes in Dynamics 365. Now that we have some basic idea on what is a work order and how it works in Dynamics 365, let's get right into creating one. You can find all your active work orders by going to field service and clicking on work orders. There are different ways in which we can create a work order. Let's create a work order from a service case. These are all my active cases. I already opened them in different tabs. The case already has the information from the account and what needs to be done for this particular case. The product has been added, the contact information, email, phone number has been added. From field service point of view, we also have added the incident type, which will help in order to get all the service tasks for the technician in the work order. In order to convert this particular case into a work order, you have to go to menu bar, click on more commands, and select the third option, which is convert to work order. You can see in the active work orders, we could see this work order. If you go inside the work order, then you can see all the information has been drilled down from the case and the account. Again, the email ID, the service account, system status, open and unscheduled. All the incident is added. The work order type has been added. Price list has been added. The service task from that incident has been added as well in the work order. And the location for this work order has been added as well. All the essential information has been added from the case and account to the work order. You could even see this work order sitting here on the unscheduled work orders. You can then select this work order, find availability from your source and book it. So this is how we can create work orders in Dynamics 65. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or want me to make further tutorials like this. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one. Peace.